there. And he brings it all the way back. Left back. Got Inquist open, coming across the middle. He breaks two tackles for the touch. Will have it wide open. I'm not exactly sure. Wide line, and he's going to go. Touchdown, third play, offensive play. Oh, hello, sports fans. Uh, Mike Tarosian here with Hopkins Middle School football. This is our first game ever. First time, first game for them ever. And we're here to bring it to you live. We're here at the uh, high school athletic fields, field number one, which is our practice for uh, everybody else. But it's a game field for, uh, you know, the JV uh, freshman and now the eighth grade middle school. Again, I'm Mike Tarosia. I'm going to bring you the call. And I'm with my uh, sidekick, <laughs> my lovely daughter, Alexis. Yep. Alexis Tarosian <laughs> is here. Alexis Tarosian. Uh, High school teacher and uh, assistant uh, girls varsity lacrosse coach. And what else do you do? You do everything. I don't know. I just help out anywhere I can. Anywhere you can, yeah. 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 So, anyways, so it looks like Martha's Vineyard won. Oh, so, anyways, today we're playing Martha's Vineyard, the Mariners from Martha's Vineyard. We'll take on the Hillers from Hopkins, the eight, uh, seventh and eighth graders. Both uh, Martha's Vineyard had the nice little hall here. They get a little boat ride first, and then they get a long bus ride. So Hopkins receiving because the Mouthless Vineyard won the toss and they deferred. And we're going to go out there. It looks like those are our captains, number 9, 23, and 73. Yeah. So number that's nine, uh, Andrew yeah. Peters. I don't have a 23. Thank nope. you, Coach. And 70 what? <laughs> One? Brendan McGowan? Brendan McGowan, yeah. Eighth graders. I don't know. It, yeah, again, we have some rosters. That, the rust I have for the Mouthless Vineyard team was a printout of a screenshot off a phone oh, yeah. so with Very my i'm going to rely on your eyes on that alexis because okay. i can't see and i couldn't change the order so they're in alphabetical no they're not even alphabetical i don't know what uh, order they're in no idea they, yeah. they just threw some names on the list yeah. uh so it's in no order whatsoever but we'll try to get you names to go with it so we don't sound totally incompetent and the Mariners take the field. And the, you, you may see some coaches on the field because this is instructional. This is the first year for both teams, both Hopkins and, and Martha's Vineyard. They are, uh, Martha's Vineyard, uh, I heard John did some scouting. John Ritz uh, on camera today uh, did some scouting, talked to the coaches. Martha's Vineyard's a hungry team. That's their first year, and they will go anywhere to play. Obviously, they came out to lovely Hopkins to get a game in. So that's a nice ferry ride plus a long school bus ride. Yeah. So we're just waiting for Hillis to get out there to receive. Uh, back to kick is number 20. You got number 20 on that Martha's Vineyard? Oh, there it is. Lucas Kakik. Or Kakui. Yeah. What do you want to call that? I'm going to go with what you said. You're in the school yeah. system. You know how these days. It's not a Jack oh. Jake Wallet or a <laughs> Jake <A -A> <laughs> But. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Blake. <laughs> Black A. Black A. <laughs> so we don't have any Black A's. Uh, so let's see. Back uh, deep uh, for the kick for the Hillers is number uh, 26, Devin Canty. And it looks like number 40, Christian Piera. And here we are with the first ever eighth grade middle school team. Oh, uh, oh. See, this first game jet is all around. You're going to see that all day today. And receiving the kick, number 29, Koopa Fosbender. Fosbender gets tied up uh, somewhere around the 33. Taken down by number 61 for the Vineyard. Which, oh my God, this is terrible. What oh, we do have one. Zachary Mathias on the tackle. So, Hiller's offense as they get out there. I'm seeing some numbers. Let's see who's out there. Looks like uh, I don't have an 80. How come this? Or is that a 60? That's 60. Angus Norton. We have uh, Evan Van Beek. Looks like in the quarterback spot will be Ayas Kuravilla. Isaiah Kuravilla, yeah. He looks yeah. like the quarterback today. Going wide. This is number 31, uh, Gavin Andrew. Oh, and it's, look at this pass. Oh, oh my goodness. 
Just missed it. Pass intended for Andrew Peters just over his head. Looked like uh, good protection there on that front line. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's all you got? <laughs> you're killing I'm me, learning, Smalls. learning the football lingo as I go. Oh, all right. Well, hopefully you're not learning from me. <laughs> Don't forget, I was a soccer coach. <laughs> True. <laughs> Coached a little football in my time, a little pop on it back in the day. I with, some, they with some of the greats, with uh, Phil Shalosky and uh, Kyle Morningstar, oh, yeah. Don Lehman, and a whole bunch of others. So Hill is back. He'll be second down and 10. Here's the snap. They're running That's a little handoff. Uh, they got oh. nowhere. It looks like we, uh, Hill is going for a loss, but uh, the carry was by, I think, number 26, Devin Canty. So it looks like a loss for three. It'll be third and 13 here. Here we are, but like I said, this is field one. This is normally the uh, practice field for varsity, but it's also the game field for the freshman and JV. I know, for a practice field, they keep it really good. Yeah, this is a good, I, mean, I see one little wet spot out yeah. here. And, and uh, folks, it's, it's a nice, Beautiful afternoon for football. <laughs> I mean, as John and I were setting up the equipment, we were getting quite wet. And we didn't think it was going to uh, uh, let up. But sure enough, John checked his radar, and he says, oh, it's going to pass. And poof, he's better than Dick Albert. He's right on the money. And the staff, we got a pitch. We got uh, number 20, was that 24, Justin Sokol? And it was Justin Soko for the rollout. And it looked like he gained a uh, good, yeah, he got his three yards back. So it's going to be fourth and 10. Now here we are at the middle school level. Do they kick? Do they just run it? Uh, I'm not really certain. Again, at, at oh. the sub varsity level, it's all instructional. But, you, you know, you, you play it for the W2. So was it all the kids. So it looks like they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, we got a timeout. Yep. On the Hillers. So, yeah, it, it could go either way. I'm not, I'm not sure uh, what they do. I know down in the Pop level, this is just uh, one step above Pop Water and American Youth Football. And they, they do punt the ball away. So, you know, being the first game, are they going to try something here? I don't know. You know, Coach Webb, Mike Webb. Uh, again, first year coach, first year for the program. And you can see the old high school uh, Hill of Football uniforms <laughs> being out there, uh, which is nice because uh, if everyone who watched Friday night's game where the Hillers took on Wayland, nice uh, W for the Hillers. Uh, brand new, spanking new green uniforms with white letters and just a hint of orange. Oh, good. The way it should be, right? Yep, get know, rid of that orange as much as possible. There you go, <laughs> here, here you go. Someone, someone who's heard me talk about that for... I don't know, 23 years now? Pretty much, Pretty yeah. much, yeah. So back to kick uh, will be Wyatt Stevens. He's an eighth grader. And here's the first punt of the inaugural season for the eighth grade, I should say. I'm sorry, the middle school team. Back to receive oh. is number 20. Oh, fumble. Looks like it's recovered by the Vineyard. And, nope, it's coming by Hopkins. And who comes up with it? Number seven. Isaiah. Isaiah. Yeah. Or Isaiah? What are we saying? Isaiah. Isaiah. Caru Caruvilla. Caru yeah. Sorry for butchering the names, but <laughs> we didn't have much time with the coach beforehand. Uh, I think that was number, was it 26 for the Mariners? I don't have a 26. Yeah. Anyways, uh, couldn't keep his hands on the ball, fumbled. And so Hopkins gets another set of downs here, and they'll get started on Martha Vineyard's 38-yard uh, line. Isaiah shotgun. Devin Canty in the back. And there's a pass. Oh, just, just over the head of Andrew Peters. Andrew Peters should have kept running. It looks like he uh, stalled a little bit when he made the turn. And uh, instead of looking over the shoulders, he made the turn. If he just looked over that shoulder and kept running strong, he could have caught that. Yeah, just keep going. But that's just Trust me. Trust your QB. 
<laughs> Trust QB to get it to you. That's it. So it'll be second down and 10. No score. We have no uh, idea how much time is left. The time is going to be kept on the field since there is no scoreboard on field one. Field two has a beautiful scoreboard with plenty of sponsors now. They're allowing sponsors back into uh, the high school. And we got a little middle six bank, Dunkin' Donuts, and somebody else on there. <coughs> and I apologize ahead for my cold. Pass intended for Seamus Murphy. Came up a little short. So it'll be third and 10 for the Hillers. Third and 10, I think uh, they want to try to start running the ball. <coughs> See what the rest of the offense can do here. Yeah, always good to mix it up to confuse that defense. Oh, sure. Yeah, for, for a lot of years, uh, Hillers have been famous for their running game. And uh, just it wasn't for the past six, seven years that they really changed it up, and now they can do just about everything. And yeah, the snap and the pitch to over to Devin Canty. Yeah. Nice. And Canty with the nice gain, first down, taken down by the Mariners number 61, which is here on this little tiny, tiny, tiny sheet here that they gave us. Zachary Mathias, nice tackle. So we'll get another set of downs here on Martha Vineyard's 22-yard line. And hand off to Canty again. Canty, he He's rolls. Going. He breaking three tackles, taken down by, and this is for Peter, everyone knows, a herd of Mariners. <laughs> Haven't heard the herd of Hillers thing in a long time. So second down, it uh, gained about, uh, looks like four. Four, yeah, with six more to go. Yeah, let's see what they're gonna do here. The running game's been looking good. Run, running but. game so far. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Let's see. I, I can't. I can see. Can't see them putting it up in the air, being so close here. Now that you're down in the red zone, he had to pass off again to Canty. Canty bumps in his own man. Rolls around. Oh, nice oh. horse call, a tackle, and we're gonna see a penalty on that. You can't do that. Yeah. And if uh, if we had the Hillers uh, student section here, you'd be hearing you, you can't, can't do, do that. that. You know. But it looks like it's gonna be a uh, personal foul for a horse collar tackle against uh, number 19. Christian Turner. Oh, look at you. Yeah. And yeah, we get 10 yards and that's gonna put us probably on the nine yard line. So it's gonna be first and goal. Uh, yeah, uh, nine. Yeah, that's the niner. So first and goal here, first quarter. Hill is looking very good right now. Very good. Penetrating this defense. And uh, we'll just have to see what happens when uh, Mouthless Vinny gets the ball. Let's see how uh, the Hill defense looks. First time looking at everybody today at the inaugural season for the Hopkins Middle School Hillers. Oh, he's looking for the pass. He got oh, plenty of time. He's, he's got to keep it. He's going for the goal line, and he's oh. in for a touchdown. Number seven. Number seven, Isaiah Curuvilla. A real gets, big playmaker today. Gets the hill his first touchdown. Coach Flannery is telling him, get back out there. You got one more point to get. <laughs> so they, they, they gain the signals, hand signals from Coach Gates. I'm assuming Coach Gates is running some kind of offense here. I'm not sure. No, uh, Coach Flannery is running on the offense as he uh, talks to his quarterback. Quarterback comes in with the play. That's one of the things that Hopkins is famous for, and especially at this age group. Um, they do a lot of running back and forth to the sidelines for the plays. You don't see them with the playbook on their on their wrist. 
So let's see. What do you think? Think one or two? I think they're going for two. And you are correct. Alexis Tarosia, Mike Tarosia on the call. Oh, Rolls right for the pass, is. and he's in yeah. for two. Seamus Murphy with the reception and the extra points. So Hopkins goes up 8-0, and we're going to have the kicking team come out. And uh, we'll see if uh, Vinny can hold on to it and have a set of downs. Very impressive uh, set of downs here, you know. Hopkins and uh, uh, choke, uh, didn't choke up, but it uh, had their first first time with the ball. They uh, did their four downs, punted it away, boom, turnover. They got to get another chance, and they paid off. Rolled it right down the field. So back deep for the vineyard. This looks like number thir number nine. 33. 33. Let's see if we can find that. That's uh, Brendan Wood. And on the far side is something for, these numbers are terrible. Uh, that could be Lincoln Marino. Or Quinn Littlefield. Number four? Oh, number four, sorry. Looks like number four. So, and Hopkins uh, kicker, number 11, Robert Lister. Lister. Parents. Please do not send me your emails when you hear me butcher these names. Yeah, nice little kick early. Caught by number 20. Number 20 was the Lucas Kaki. Kaki? 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 But, what was that, John? Brought down by number 16. Oh, on brought Hopkinson. down by 16. Wyatt Stevens. There you go. So the Mariners get their first time uh, showing off their offense at uh, at their own 40, 44, yeah. 45, 45 yard line. A little tough being on the angle with this uh, with this, but uh, the guys uh, holding the uh, downs markers are doing a great job over there and moving it quick. And I don't sound like a total idiot. So we have a little rollout oh, pitch. Oh. And the Hillers break in there for a nice loss for the Mariners. That was uh, Lincoln Marino with the pitch. Well, the quarterback, the, well, the quarterback pitching. Yeah. Uh, number 23 is uh, Tyson Thomas. Tyson or Tyshawn? I'm going to go with Tyshawn. Tyshawn Thomas. Forty-eight and forty-four in the backfield. And handoff. Handoff. No penetration. Go wide on the oh. outside. And he's going. The Mariners oh. are going big. Let's see if five can get him. Oh, just short. That was Luciano Baldwin. He tried to penetrate the middle, bounced off, rolled, went around to the outside, ran it downfield for a Mariners touchdown. Quick turn of events here as the uh, Mariners strike back on their second play to bring the score eight to six. I should have brought a pen with me because uh, we don't have a score. Keep you track a of these. Teacher. You got a pen? Uh, no. no. Okay. Sorry. Remember, I'm a, I'm a millennial teacher, put so your, yeah. we use our phones and computers. Put, use your phone then. Thank you. I love my millennial. <laughs> All three of them. So the vineyard is uh, going for uh, two, it looks like. And I, I, I think we're going to see a lot at this age group. Now, I know when I was coaching the A-Squad at Pop Warner, we went for the extra points. We, we did kick them. But it looked like a keep. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a failed keep. So it looked it looked like uh, the quarterback, uh, number 23. What the, I hate this roster. 23 is Tyshawn Thomas. Yeah, Tyshawn. Tyshawn uh, looks like he fumbled the snap, causing the uh, play to go dead. So 
Eight to six, Hillers will now receive the kick. Back again for the Hillers will be number, number 40, Christian Pierre. And number 26, Devin Canty. Good little crowd, John Pierre, the crowd. They got nice, uh, the Hills parents over there. Some, a lot of smart ones that brought their chairs. And they stayed on some nice uh, solid ground over there. Thank goodness for that road. <laughs> so Vineyard looking for one more player to get out there for the kickoff, because you gotta play with 11. That's the rules. So we got a three-man crew for referee, which is uh, normal for this age group. Uh, usually sub-varsity is three referees. Varsity is uh, four or more. Well, you get, you get the scoring uh, referee, too. That keeps the clock. Cooper Fosbender receives the kick. Nice little carry. Take it down around the 43 by number, oh, don't be 71 because I know he's not on the roster. Who is it? 61. I think we had a 61. Yeah, Zachary Mathias. Yeah, nice tackle. He just grabbed, it, it, he did it the right way. Both arms ran around him, didn't let go, and just dropped him down to the ground. So the Hills will take over on the downs here on the 43 with God knows how much time left in the first quarter. Isaiah Curavilla making the plays. Hill is coming up to the line. Let's see. It looks like another shotgun formation with Candy in the back. Going wide right. I smell a pass. Oh, oh. we got a pitch to Canty. Candy rolls around. There you go. Oh. Nice little takedown by number 62, which is Chase Grant. Hill is with a gain about five or better on that one. Croaching into the Mariners' 48-yard line. Oh, and there it goes, like Isaiah does. Joe with the keep. Fake the oh, pass, and nice. he's going down the line. Dodges oh. one tackle, and then he's taken down right in that nice puddle that John Ritz wanted to see done. Isaiah avoids the first tackle by number 69, Jacob Riley. I didn't see who wound up getting him. Heck of a play. Yeah. Nice keep. So it just puts us right at the edge of the red zone, 20 yard line. Looks like the chains are a little short, John. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, looks like they're short by six inches. That's all right. Yeah, will it make it go faster? I don't know. I haven't seen the clock yet. Soko roll it out to the left-hand side. Nice gain of six. Yeah. So the second down and six, uh, second down and four. Coach Flannery uh, going over the, running the offense today. Kuravilla with the call, making the plays. Team's ready. A little bit different kind of uh, uh, huddle for our Hillers here. Here we have the oh, fake. He's again, going again with the keep. And he's in there for another touchdown. Hillers go up. Oh. Oh. Flag oh, we got a holding call. 
on the Hillers. So that's going to come back and even move back five yards. So Hillers will get the get the. I'm sorry, ten yards. So Hillers will uh, get the ball back on the 25. So it'll be second down. Repeat second down. I didn't see who had the hold. Usually at this level too, they don't like to call out the numbers. Uh, at this age, at this age level, we they didn't do it in uh, uh, pop water either. Oh, that's interesting. And that's the quarter. First quarter has ended. Hillers are up eight to six. We're gonna take a small little break. It will be back with second quarter action here. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Welcome back, Hill of Sports fans, to eight, uh, I keep calling it eighth grade. It's middle school. Middle school, yeah, football. we got some seventh graders in seventh there. Seventh and eighth grade, correct. Uh, so we got the Hillers against Martha's video, the start of the second quarter. Hillers are up eight to six. And uh, I'm Mike Tarosian on the call, along with uh, my favorite youngest daughter, Alexis Tarosian. And my favorite oldest cameraman, John Ritz. <laughs> and we got a pass to the outside. Uh -huh. Oh, right in the numbers. Curavilla could not connect with Peters. Yeah, blame it on first game jitters, blame it on wet field conditions, but I'm they're, sure they'll blame it on something on the ride home. And they're still learning each other. Still learning, absolutely. Uh, this is, again, sub-varsity play. Everything is all purely instructional. I mean, Hillers could go up five touchdowns or whatever and change it up, and we could come back and lose the game because it's an instructional uh, season. The inaugural season for middle school Hiller football. There's a snap with a little pitch out to Justin Sokol. Justin Sokol outside, taken down by number 48 for the Mariners, which is number, you can look at your roster too. Oh, you, yeah. you got the good eyes. I forgot. Luciano Baldwin. Again, uh, the rosters that we got, it was nice that we got rosters. I told them we wouldn't do a game without rosters. And I got an iPhone screenshot of the Mathis Vineyard Rasta. Hey, that you I can, got something. I blow up as big as I can get you know? it, and, <laughs> and I can still barely read it with my cheaters on. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. Is it not that at all? Right? Is that oh, is that is that what they teach you now at <laughs> the millennial high school? <laughs> so <laughs> there's a snap, shotgun for me. He's oh, looking, and he's going. Bill is looking. He's decided to keep it. He's looking at that corner. Oh, and there he goes. And there he goes again. And he laid hits from behind and he hold it. I don't see any mustard on the field. I'm going to call that a touchdown. It's always good to have a quarterback that can run. Yeah, you, you know? have to have the the uh, multiple skills here. So we're looking at here a 14 to 6 lead. Hill is, I'm sure, will go for two more. Unless, uh, you know, they will show off somebody's foot, see what they can do. No, it does look like they're gonna stick for going for two. Yeah, unless that quarterback, Isaiah Cruvilla, can kick, I think they're gonna go for two. If I know, it could be one of those weird rules at that level. We didn't hear many on the rules. All we know is that we have 10 minute quarters. 
And there's the step. Isaiah, Isaiah with the with the little toss. To 21. So that's uh, Seamus Sh Murphy. Yeah. So Hill is now go up 16 to 6. And they'll kick off to the Mariners. And it'll be the Mariners' turn to see what they can do. Last time at Mariners, it was their second uh, possession, uh, second uh, play. And they wound up uh, driving in for a long touchdown. And there's uh, John painted down. We got a little student section there from Hopkinton, right next to the few Mouthens Vineyard parents that made the uh, trek across the high seas and the long ride from the Cape. I know. I wonder how that uh, ferry ride really could have been with the rain and everything. It's a yeah. quick ferry, so they're lucky, but. Right. I mean, uh, I'm sure. I mean, everything's down on the South Shore, and I'm hopefully by the time they get back to Ferryland, uh, the seas will be a little calmer, and they won't shut them down, and they have to stay on the mainland. <laughs> so it looks like uh, back to kick for uh, Hopkins will be Robert Litcher. Litcher with a nice kick to the middle line to number 16. <coughs> 16 is not on the roster. Oh, of course. And taken down by Wyatt Stevens. So here comes the offense with a bunch of numbers that aren't on the roster either. Yep. <coughs> I think I'm uh, dying over here. I think at halftime, someone's gonna find me a little water somewhere. <coughs> <coughs> Gotta get your vitamin C. Yeah. Where's that Dayquil when you need it? So here we go, it's uh, first and 10. Given a 44. My soul reverse. Wyatt Nicholson. So it looks like no gain. It'll be second down. Tishon Thomas. So they're going wide left. I'm hearing the coaches yell out to, to readjust. A dog real season here for both teams. Yeah, it looked like it was a fake handoff to number four, Lincoln Marino, yeah, which led to it being a keep. So I don't know if it was a missed call or it was a, supposed to be a fake. I was faked out a little. Definitely getting tricky out there. Yeah, it could be. Again, the learn of the plays. Uh, everyone, it, it's it's learning for everybody. So it'll be third down in about twelve, for the Mariners. There is a girl on the vendor team, but I don't know which one. Forty-one. Yeah, number forty-one. Right yeah, the only girl, Cat Catherine Cat DeSorcy. So there's another handoff. Going up, rolling out to the left was number. Let's see if he gets up. Four. Number four. That would be Lincoln Marino. So it looked like a loss of one on there. Well, about the same, maybe a half a yard. So it'll be fourth down. Yeah, let's see the kicker coming out.
Are they kicking or are they going to try to go for it? Uh, looks like uh, they're going to kick. Oh. Marino is uh, back. And here goes yeah. uh, Tommy Chatton. A little familiar name to us broadcasters here. Chatton's are the best. There's the kick. Oh, it's gone over Chatton's head. And they'll just take the yardage right there, which is uh, almost good for, would have been good for a first out. <laughs> All right. So Hopkins will uh, take over Downs. And the Mariners looks like 45-ish. 45 -ish. I would say so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we don't have uh, good lines on the field. I mean, you would think, I mean, they, they had no time to get this field ready. With no, this, it's been raining weather. and gross all day. Definitely didn't have enough time to get the spray paint out. All right, so Hills will, will take the step here. Isaiah will, back in the shotgun. We got wide left with the Hand off to uh, Canty. And he's tripped out behind the line. I think we may have a little loss. Or I think a little bit of a gain. Maybe gain of one. Or No, it looks like uh, no gain. He was down on the line. Uh, so he'll be second down on the line. Isaiah running back with the play from Coach Flannery. I smell a little pass going on right here. I think Flair wants to. Oh, we're oh. going to pitch it out to Canty. Canty breaks a couple tackles. Oh, he's still wow. up. He's still up. Still he's going. Oh. Yeah, it took a fleet of Mariners to take him down. I thought he was uh, I thought it was all done when Chase Grant had him. Had him all wrapped up, and he just uh, spun out of his arms. Goes to show you just got to keep going through it. Keep going. Keep those feet moving. Keep turning. Mm -hmm. Always worked for me. When I was a style lineman. Yeah. Right guard. Four still charges. Whoop, whoop. 1978, I think. <laughs> oh, God. 40. 40 years ago. Oh, my God. 40 years ago. Wow. Uh. How old am I? Way Jeez. too old. Wow. Okay. Where were we? Third down and about six. <laughs> oh, enough of the heyday. Oh. Isaiah with the toss. And oh. Oh, so close. Seamus Murphy. Right in his fingertips. Jumped up for it. Bounced off his hands. So fourth and six. Uh, let's see uh, who comes on out to... Punt, is that a kicker right there? No. Uh, White Stevens, is he a kicker? Looks like it. Lincoln Marino, deep for the Mariners. Yeah, a little tall snap. And there's the punt. Oh, yeah. yeah touch. He better grab it. And he did. He wrapped it up. Go through the hands like that. It's a free ball. That was number 33. 33 on the tackle? Was it? No, no he it was Marino. It. Who got oh, 33 the, with the recovery. Who got the punt. Yeah. Gotcha. Running Wood. All right. So the Mariners uh, will take over Downs on on their 18-yard line. Of course, it could be the 20. You never know the difference. You can't see here. Or you just have to take my word for it. Let's see if the Hillers can hold them this time and not let them take off down the field. No, that's right. So it is the second quarter. Hill is 16 to Martha Vineyard, 6. Yeah, I did that without checking your phone. Oh, nice, nice oh. tackle, deep back, Paul Litcher. 
for a huge loss. Looks like 23 is looking for a call. But isn't going to get one today. Oh, that was a good 11 yard loss for the Mariners. Huge play by the Hillers defense. There. Second in wicked long. Yeah. Wicked. So again, everyone, you're watching Hiller Miller's Middle School football. Inaugural season. This is the first game, the home opener, here at the Hopkins High School Athletic Fields, field number one. Which formerly used to be Chick Welch Field. I don't know how they did. That was Chick Welch. Then they made Field Three. They called that Chick Welch. Still called Chick Welch, even though they named the stadium after David Hughes. I don't know. A lot of pre uh, important people here in Hopkins that need stuff named. A lot of after legends. Him. Yeah. And another loss. Take. Uh, wow. Takes us to almost the four-yard line for them. I can't tell. It was kind of far back from my position to see. John, you see any numbers on tackle, or was it just a herd of hillers? Just a herd. Herd of hillers. We'll take a herd of hillers. Thank you for that expression, Peter Masso. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we got a injury. Oh. Injury. Yep. When the kids take a knee at that age, it's an injury. 48? Yeah, it looks like 48. Looks like and that would be Luciano Baldwin. Yeah, I probably got a little stinger and there uh, wrapped up in the mess. And no. All uh, right. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to take a little break while he gets uh, gets together, gets himself composed, and hopefully everything's okay. So we'll take a small break here with Hill Middle School football, the Hillers 16, and the Mariners 6. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. And Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al my Gal and we love H-Camp. And I want to be a camp. We love H-Camp. And I volunteer for H-Camp TV. And I watch H-Camp TV. And I love H-Camp TV. And I love H-Camp TV. We love H-Camp TV. All right, we're back. Uh, we just had a little injury timeout. Luciano uh, Baldwin coming off the field. Got a little stinger there wrapped up in the uh, the scrum down by the three-yard line. So it's going to be uh, third down in Wicked Long. As the Mariners uh, uh, look at a scramble, they'll, they'll probably run... Run to the outside. I mean, so far, we only had that one really good run, which uh, converted into a touchdown. Little run up the middle there by uh, was it T. Shaw Thomas with the keep? Yeah, we got a timeout there for the Hillers. So, uh, yeah, talking about our athletic uh, trainer who will be uh, taking a look at the kids uh, is Catherine Henry. She comes from uh, uh, Bellingham High School, has uh, tons of experience and knowledge uh, in her discipline. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward. Well, we don't like seeing her on the field because when she's on the field, that means people are hurt. I know. Always best to keep your athletic trainers on the sideline. Absolutely, keep them on the sidelines. Let them, let them, uh, let them deal with the uh, aches and pains after the game. And uh, I heard she's uh, she plays a little ball. Yeah, she's a big international rugby player. That she is was on very cool the USA women's team. A lot of talent here at this high school. Some uh, great coaches. Uh, head coach of this inaugural team uh, today. We have uh, Michael Webb. I believe he's in the high school. He is. He um, is part of the START program. Yep. That helps students. Um, <laughs> that helps students with a multiple of different um, situations going on. So that's special education yep. for uh, the layman at home. Yep. And we also have Ken Gates over there. Ken Gates, yeah, yeah. from the high school as well, and yeah. uh, 
And as I said, uh, on the offensive uh, side of things is Coach Ed Flannery from Hopkins School. Yeah. Everyone knows uh, Mr. Flannery. And uh, who else do you recognize any of the other coaching staff? I, um, I do not. We have a student from the high school helping out. He is a sophomore. Okay. Um, Nick Alvarez Rodriguez. There you go. Good. Um, we also have an alumni. I cannot remember his name. But he is also helping out. Is that the tall guy in the duck hat? No. He, he Where did he go? There he is, right there. No, that's, yeah, right there. Is that the, who's no, that? No, that's Ken Gates. That's Ken? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Ken. Where's the other guy? He, it's I I Jordan. Um, I know it's Jordan. His aunt used to work at Koala's with me. I hate those brain farts. And I can't think of his You'll name. You'll think of it. He graduated a year after me, around, uh, either a year or two years after me. So he's okay. either class 14 or class 15. Right. So we have uh, Hillers taking over downs there. First and goal. Looks like it's, I think it's the four. It looks, I would agree with that. You agree with four. the four? All right, I'll take the that four. That looks good. What do you think, John, four? Sure. You've seen enough of this stuff, yeah, John. John Ritz, our... Uh, Camera operator here for the past, so what, 13 years now? Something like that. 13 years of uh, covering Hill of football as well as everything else under the sun and under the lights of the athletic center. We need to do a mashup, poetry and football. Poetry <laughs> and football. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, it's a, if it's a haiku, you get like two yards. Absolutely. If it's a... I forget the rest of the type of poems. <laughs> 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 I've never good at that English <laughs> learning stuff. So we have uh, a little run there by uh, uh, Devin Canty. Looks like they're going to move the stick about a yard. So it'll be second down. The size differences are cool. I'm looking yeah. at 14 on Hopkinton and 71 on... Yeah, John, yeah. John's uh, mentioned the the size of he can see better. He's got a nice big TV on his camera that he can. He's got the better angle than I do, and I should just watch his TV screen. Um, it is true that middle school age, um, the older they are, they just skyrocket. Nice Beautiful uh, rolling pass, Isaiah uh, Curavilla to uh, Seamus Murphy. So the Hills will go up 22-6. And they'll, I'm sure they'll try again for two. I'd love to see them do the kicking, you know, especially at this age group. You know, you got to develop your kickers. That was one thing that we never did, well, the Hills never did for the longest time either, was develop uh, uh, good kickers. Uh, now it's a whole different science. It's a, They get their own coach just for that too. Yeah, a lot of math goes into kicking. Tons a lot of, of math. Tons of math. So there we go with the uh, with the extra two. It's a little handoff to Cooper Fosbender, and it is was no good. So twenty-two six. Yep. Second quarter action, and the Hillers will take. Uh, the kicking team will, will come on out, and we'll see what happens with Hopkins. So, yeah, you see the crowd over there. Uh, they're hanging in. It's it's nice. It's just out of mist a little bit. You know, John did take down the big umbrella because uh, we felt that we weren't getting poured on anymore, and we've uh, just just got a little mist rolling in yeah. into the uh, field. Um, it's always good. These were the days when I was an athlete. I loved to play on. They bring so much intensity to a game, and they just make it fun for the players. You get to get muddy, and you get to just have a good time. It's yeah, something about getting muddy, slipping around. and <laughs> You know, you're going for the ball, and it's a ball that you would totally have, and you miss it, and then your friends would be laughing at you, especially if you, like, slip too, you know? Exactly. There's nothing better than that. And I always said, you know, the, the, the uh, scholastic – athletic experience is in the games it's everything else it's your spag dinners it's your bus rides it's these practices and scrimmages it's building those team um fundamentals those 
connections, those everything else that makes a team work off the field right. as much on the right. field. So Wyatt Nicholson uh, with the kick uh, and with the carry and brings it up to the 30, where are they going to put it? Uh, about the 37. Okay. I'll give you 37. Oh, don't make it 36. They just moved it back. Good. Son of a gun. So 36. <laughs> uh, Yad Line and the <laughs> Mariners of Martha's Vineyard will uh, take over downs here and see if they can uh, put any numbers up on the board. Let's see if they can uh, get it to the double digits. So Hopper Hearn in at quarterback for the Vineyard. And I didn't see who he tossed it to. 25 and, five down. and that's going to be the half. So end of the first half, we have the Hillers 22, the Mariners 6. We're going to take a little break here as we go away, and uh, they're going to change sides, and we'll be back with second half action right after this. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving because if you do it, your child will too. Welcome back, HKM sports fans, to Hopkins Middle School football. This is going to be the second half of the Hillers versus Martha's Vineyard Mariners. I'm Mike Tarosia on the call with my lovely assistant, Alexis Tarosia, with Dylan Color and John Ritz on camera, and some slight commentary that he feeds us information. Yeah. <laughs> Making us not look too dumb out here. Not too dumb. So uh, the Hillers will uh, kick as... Uh, Mathis Vineyard won the toss and deferred for the second half. And we're underway. Second half kick nice, uh, not too deep in the middle. And uh, number four, um, Lincoln Marino uh, ran to the outside, taken down by, I think it was, uh, uh, looked like uh, Christian Pereira, number 40. I could be mistaken, but that wouldn't be the first time I was wrong. Is that your mother? Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Oh, ho. All right. So. <laughs> really <laughs> going in with that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How about Lexi? Take it from here. Okay. So football. <laughs> they throw <laughs> it and catch it. Really? Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they hand it off too, right? That too, and they run. Yeah. A lot sports. of running. Sports. A lot of, a lot of running in football. Yeah. So. uh Martha's Vineyard will uh, run their downs off of the off of their 35-yard line, and in the quarterback spot for them now is can't see a number. Oh, fumble! So uh, the quarterback number 44 was it 44? They keep checking. No, it was 23. Got it. Oh, Treven the. T thing. Oh yeah, gotta get that yep. T back once in a while. But uh, uh, Tyshawn Thomas uh, fumbled the snap. And Martha Vineyard recovered. Have you seen those dogs at the college football games that retrieve the T every so often? Yes, they have yeah. the dogs that go right out retrieving it. It's pretty cool. The fans love that. I know. I wish that um, Coach Webb brought his dog Lombardi, who's also Lombardi, the, the uh, therapy dog, the therapy at, the high dog at the high school. Right. I think that would be a great job for him during these football games. That would be awesome. But, however, I mean, great, he's a therapy dog. He would be allowed out here, but there's no dogs allowed on school property. Oh, true. You know, and you can't have them on the fields because they do have to do their... They make a mess sometimes. sometimes. All right, so Tyshawn, he's going to roll. He's going to keep. He's rolling out right. Take it down by... Uh, Look like Wyatt Stevens with a little help 
from Paul Litcher. It was, yes, yes. You're correct. Paul Litcher, the eighty five. Oh, <laughs> Well, we have a little uh, camera there. John is uh, fixing it. It looks like uh, something fell there. I guess I need to tighten that leg. Is that what you tell me, John? All right, well, we can do that. <laughs> Big difference. What are you doing? All right, so John's uh, making his adjustments. He'll be third down in about 14. From Mouthers Vineyard. Mouthers Vineyard uh, running game uh, got us a little nervous there on their second play where they ran it back for about uh, 70 yard, uh, uh, probably, I'm sorry, around 80 yard or so touchdown. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a roll. Oh, oh, oh nice. nice little stiff arm. That was beautiful. A oh, beautiful stiff arm by number 48, uh, Luciano Baldwin. Oh, it who looks like he's back in the game. See that he's doing better. He must, it must have been just a little stinger. Yeah. Because uh, the, the trainer didn't go out after him. You know it's serious when the trainers go out there. Yeah. So Luciano with the uh, gain brings it back to the original line of scrimmage. So it'll be fourth and ten. John, is that thing just moving on you? No, I think we're good. All right. So if you see the camera start shifting, no, it's not John leaning over. It is <laughs> a little malfunction on the equipment, which will tend to probably uh, in between quarters. So fourth and ten. And oh, they got nice. stuffed up the middle. It looked like, I don't know if there was a, a blitz call, but uh, coming, out of the, uh, coming out of the scrum is uh, Paul Litcher, very happy, very excited to uh, be making a tackle. So Hopkins will take over on the Mariners 33 yard line, it looks like. <laughs> so this uh, Hopkins team uh, showing some uh, good strength um, and some uh, good uh, ball handling skills. Uh, the passing, you know, the passing, you know, they, they got to work on that. Here it is. It's the first game, and I'm sure they, you know, only well, been practicing for, yeah. uh, what, three weeks, if that tops. Yeah, oh, we've only been in school about three weeks. So. Yeah, because I, I don't think they had the summer as, uh, they, as a matter like of fact. Like the I'm high sure. schoolers, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh there's a fumble. Drop. And I see a lot of white jerseys on top of it, a lot of happy white jerseys. And it looks like a nice, nice recovery. 61. By number 61, Zachary Mathias. So a nice quick turn of events there and a much needed turnover by Martha's Vineyard. And that's going to happen in weather like this sometimes. Oh, absolutely. The ball gets super slippery. You don't make that great connection and that pull in. You drop it. Hope to recover him, but sometimes you just lose it. So Martha's Vineyard uh, making the recovery on their 44 yard line. Well, no, I'm sorry, their uh, 34 yard line. And back to snap for, for Martha's Vineyard. It looks like uh, 58 again. Oh, it's a good tackle by number 10, Andrew Button. Yeah, that is 58. I don't see a 58. You see a 58? 58 on Mariners. Let's look at that. I don't see There 58. is not a 58. So 58 is the quarterback? Heck of a guy. I'm assuming it's a male player. Can't see from here. All I see is numbers and helmets. So again, you, you see there's a lot of time in between. They, the quarterbacks do a lot of running, uh, getting their instructions back on the sidelines uh, from the coach. Unlike in, in varsity and above where the hand signals or uh, numbers are called in. 
So we'll see a uh, roll to the left. Number 40, 46 for the uh, Mariners. Which is, oh. Aiden Conley. And I don't think there was any, oh, actually they lost a half a yard. Ooh, that hurts. So oh. it'll be third down and a whole bunch. It looks like we got some Hopkins High School players yeah, walking in to support their younger Junk brothers zoom out and see them. in there football. They go. Yeah, they were on the uh, practice field because this would be their practice field, but they're playing the game. So, yeah, they are showing the support. That's what it's all about here at Hill Country. It's always good building that community in the team. Oh, nice bear to drive up the middle. Got a nice little game, probably about almost four or five. But that was a heck of a drive. And it looked like the carry was by numbers, is it the 68 that we don't have or the? I think it was the one that we do not have. So it was a good carry and uh, taken down by Herd of Hills. And there they are, look, look how pretty those uh, boys look there in, in white, or I should call it brown. Yeah. And that's just practice. Should see them in a game. Got to hope they leave those pads out Yeah, it looks like a uh, timeout, uh, timeout Hillers. So, John, you get a nice picture. Look at, look at those nice buddy you. That's just for practice. Should see them during game time. They work even harder. So, Let's with the uh, it's third quarter, not sure how much time is left, but we have the Hillers are up 22 to 6. And Alexis is not ahead in amazement that I remember the score without <laughs> putting it into my phone like most millennials would. It's just for security. Security? To make sure. Well, what's security? To make sure you don't forget. Oh, thanks. You I should I understand that, right? I love the backup. You're getting, you're you getting that dementia years in, right? <laughs> so <coughs> you got to appreciate them trying to the, back you up. I remember that the next time you ask her to bring your lunch to school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did it all through high school. Now that she's working there, I have to still do it again. You know what? Gets busy over there in the high school. Yeah, sure it does. All right, so here we go. Fourth down. And uh, number, what is that, 69? 69, the shotgun, Jacob Riley. And putts outside. That was the putt. He did putt. Yeah. Turn away for two seconds. So Hopkins will take over somewhere on the 40. Big round of applause from the uh, Varsity. As the uh, Hiller offensive team comes out. Taking, uh, taking care of business on the uh, Mariners 42. Yeah, let's see what they do here, if they try for the pass or if they run it. The running game has been really strong today. So. Very strong. Very strong. I still like to see a uh, completion. Yeah. Isaiah Kuruvilla. Oh, Ooh. and we have a delay game. It's like flags on white. Number four, is it too many? I think it's too two. many men on the field. No, it's not. Two, it's not. Four, six, eight. 10, 12. Yeah, too many men on the field. Somebody's going to go, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. That's there another one of those yeah, first number, game number jitters. Yeah, number four is actually, yeah, that's always going to happen, especially yeah. at this age group. It, it happens a lot throughout a season, but uh, definitely on a first game. It happens at, uh, I've seen it happen in the NFL. Yeah. Everyone just wants to get their time on now in that field. Nice little run there by Andrew Winslow. Move the uh, stick a little bit. And it looks like we got a gain of about one and a half. So second down. And 
Isaiah in the shotgun. Hands it off nice. to uh, Wins oh. Winslow. Yeah, it looks like I got a little lost there. A little behind the line. So it looks like I might drag that stick back a yard or two. And yep. Yeah, two yards. Third and six. Yeah, this is a, this nice little program here that the uh, middle school has put together. The uh, given uh, Hill has more chances to play football. Back in the old days, these guys would be on varsity when both mm -hmm. the uh, junior and senior high school was one building. Yeah. All right, here comes that pass. Isaiah looking, oh. and he's rolling. You see, he's 86 right now. And he's going. And 86 puts out a block. There you go. Let's see. Down Let's the see. line. Oh, and he's out of bounds. Yeah, he's pushed out around the seven, yeah. I think. Isaiah Thomas rolling and looking. Didn't see anything good. You keep saying yeah. Isaiah Thomas. Did I say Isaiah Thomas? Why yeah, did I that's say Thomas? Yeah, cool. that's a Celtics yeah, player. Sorry. Wrong sport. Yeah, that's basketball. <laughs> that's right. The other night during football, we had Zach Blake or whatever his name is. We kept calling him Zach Brown. <laughs> so uh, that's going to end it for the third quarter. The, we're going to change size. The hill is 22. And uh, Martha's Vineyard 6 will be right back with the final quarter. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits. And I'm here to tell you how it can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Welcome back, Hill Sports fans. To Quarter number four here at the Hopkins High School Athletic Fields. Field number one with the Hopkins Middle School Hillers versus the Martha's Vineyard Regional Mariners. I'm Mike Tarosian and Alexis Tarosian here on the call. John Ritz on camera. And the Hillers taking over their downs. And a nice little run up the middle by Justin Sokol for a nice little four yard gain. So it'll be second and six, second and goal. Second and seven, seven yards. We have uh, Rocco Horgan in at uh, quarterback. good to mix it up every so often well, show the team something that different is, it's, a structure. it's nice yeah. to, you know to have two or three quarterbacks not every team has that oh. and they're both seventh timeout. graders I think we have uh, so we have an injured player for Martha's Vineyard so had a little injury time out by the Empire It's a snap with a little handoff. Oh, ran into, ran into himself. A, a blitz. You had uh, Soko on the carry, but you had a, a blitz led by uh, 65 on the Mariners. Another unlisted you get, number. No, that was 85. No, 65. Oh, 65 right there. Jack Tully. Oh, just kidding. Good thing my old ancient eyes are still <laughs> working there, Missy. So we have, uh, we got a loss, we're back where we started third in goal. On the 10 yard line. Here we go, D. 
the, the, the fake. Oh, and he's oh, going. Makes it by that little open field tackle. Finally taken down by uh, number 44. Yeah, let's see what they do here. Wyatt Nicholson. So here it is, fourth and goal. Of course they got to go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not? I might be wrong in my football terminology, but they could also go for a field goal, correct? You are very correct. Oh. Wow, look at you. So smart. And that would be for three points, not six. That is correct. But I don't think they have that kind of kicking if you see them go for two-point conversions in the uh, True. Every play, so. Yeah. It's always good to see if what they can do. All right, so here we go with the snap. In the pass. Oh, nice oh, throw. Oh, a blooper oh. up in the air. Almost picked off. Almost picked off by uh, Wyatt Nicholson. Who seems to, you know, you, you see him around the ball all the time. He's one of those good little players that, that can really uh, have an eye for where the ball's going to be. So the Mariners will take over on the 11 yard line. Well, 10. I think it's 10. I get that puddle of reflection in my way there. Yeah, I think they're at the 10. I would say 10. So yep. again, it's the fourth quarter. It's 22 to six. The Hopkins Middle School Hillers against the Martha's Vineyard Regional Mariners. Yeah, I think it is interesting, though, that uh, for Hopkins, both quarterbacks that we've seen today are actually seventh graders. So we got some young leaders on the team. Got some young leaders, yeah. These are these are kids that probably just came off a, a Pop Warner uh, or American Youth Football season and gave their hand at it. Well, they could be first timers. Yeah. You know, they, w I just got the uh, rosters this afternoon, and so I didn't have much time to study. And I don't have any history on or any stats on any of these players. And of course, being the inaugural season. I have no stats. I have no stats on the uh, the teams because they don't have any. So that was a, a great rush by Sam Pantera. Sam Pantera um, knocked the ball out as as uh, he was passing, but the ball was going forward. If the ball was back and he knocked it out, that would have been a fumble, and we would have had a touchback. But a safety. But that's not the case. Tuck rule. What's that? No tuck rule. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. Second down. They they didn't move the numbers, but it should be second down. Yeah. Oh. 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 There That's we go. That's where you need a lot of hands. Frankie Incudo, eighth grader. He had uh, one hand on him, but uh, wound up breaking the tackle. So it'll be third in 15 for the Mariners. Hopper Hearn in a quarterback for the Mariners. Giving the team the plays. And we got a handoff to number to number thirty-three, which is uh, Brendan Wood, and no gain. So it'll be fourth down on the Mariners' three-yard line. Not looking good here. Hill's defense has uh, been able to penetrate their line one, you know, a ton of different times. Yeah. No, and the defense is looking strong against this offense today. They've definitely been able to push them back past the original starting point. Sure. All right, let's see what they uh, can do here. As they kick the ball away, they don't put a uh, receiver back, which is a, a uh, smart move. 
So they're going to let the ball go and stop and let Martha's Vineyard touch it. And it will be, they'll take over downs on Martha's Vineyard's 45. What the? So give a lot better field position than what they originally uh, were going to wind up with. And uh, it's good fair play by not having anybody uh, catching that ball. Just let it bounce and start from there. Back in at uh, quarterback for the Hillers, Isaiah Caravilla. Not Thomas. Not Thomas. Not Thomas, thanks. <laughs> thanks, guys. It'd be nice, though, if you showed up. Yeah, it would be. Cool. It'd be a nice, fun little seconds. trip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, first down action here. We have, uh, they're going to keep it on the ground, I think. And oh, anyway, I got and he's sneak. running it yep. again. Get the keeper. Nice little block there. Oh, got by, the first uh, down. Distacio. Yeah, I've stepped out of bounds around the 27. So Hopkins will move the chains, get a little closer to the goal line. So Hill is looking good in their debut, their inaugural season. I'm sure uh, Coach Michael Webb and his staff, Ken Gates, Ed Flannery, and everybody else you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, they look, they gotta be happy with their with their performance. Yeah. And we got the vineyard, they just ended, but they're trying to have a comeback chant right now. Trying to rally up the spirits. Oh, absolutely. And keep yeah. it going. It's always important to remember it. Don't get your head down. That's right. Nice handoff right up the middle. And get a gain of part one. So second down. Hillers, when you're ahead like that, you know, the, I'm sure the plays are just going to be up the middle now. Two minute warning here at Hopkins Athletic Fields. Field number one. Looks like Rocco Horgan's back in at QB. Yep, that shirt is longer than his legs. Yeah. So what happens when you get the hand-me-downs from the high school? That's true. Hey, you gotta have a program somehow, you know. I remember when you uh, were on JV Lacrosse. <laughs> you had all those. Yeah, wearing the same uniform that my sister wore. Yeah, see? Four but years that, before but me. that's great, though, you know? Yeah. Like, w when I went and played uh, what you would call uh, 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 freshman baseball or whatever, it was junior high baseball at my, yeah. at my day, and I couldn't wait to wear that old, smelly uniform that my brothers wore. No, it was actually nice. I got that was to all, hand They off. were all the wool ones, like you, you yeah. know, when you see Babe Ruth school, movies yeah. and stuff. Ted Williams, it was yeah. those kind of uniforms. It was actually nice this year. I got to hand off my uniform that I played into one of my players. Oh, but, yeah. But we're going to be changing those up this year. Yeah, brand new. Brand new uniforms? After five years. Well, that's great. You know, something like that, when you get a good head coach like that, they're able to negotiate with the athletic directors and – and uh, what's her name again? Laura something? <laughs> um, it's Caitlin Berry. Caitlin Berry. Oh, yeah. that's it. Yeah, I know it was something like that. And, uh, yeah, Caitlin Berry uh, had a nice uh, first season last year. Yeah. We were pretty strong. Yeah. Got um, furthest in playoffs since, since a really long since, – wait, since, since we, I was there. Oh, the state oh, championship team. That. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> But yeah, she's good. She uh, she puts together a good coaching staff. This year's down there. Kay Caitlin, say hi. Wave to the camera. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Caitlin uh, put together always, even when she was at Dover Sherman, when she said she had some of the best assistant coaches. One of her favorites. Uh, what was her name again? Stephanie. Stephanie Turner. Oh, your sister. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she said that was she was her favorite assistant coach. Mm -hmm. From the past. From the past, of course. Now you're her new favorite. Yes. Oh, and he's still nice up. little run, Justin Solko, running outside, uh, just short of a first down. 
So about this vineyard will take over. Downs. Probably they'll probably get one or two snaps before they're done. And then I gotta fly out of here. We got volleyball tonight. Big uh volleyball match tonight. Yeah. They just came off a couple of road games. And we're back uh home tonight against I forget. John, you know who we play tonight? I cannot remember. I it's can't at remember. six thirty. It's six thirty. Not that anyone's gonna care. Nice to this. in the high school. Athletic gym. center where it's nice and steamy. Yep. Tonight we're playing Bellingham. Oh yes. Good old Bellingham. Hey. <laughs> All right. So I'm about to video with the snap. Nice run right up oh. the middle. Oh, what a solid tackle by Robert Lisha. Yeah. He just wrapped and dropped him. Yeah. Guy was like three times his size there, number uh, oh. 69, Jacob Riley. What a wrap. And that's the game. And that's it. Oh, my goodness. Solid win by the Hillers. They definitely Her worked for it. Yep, 22 to 6. Uh, they worked very hard. And I'm actually looking forward to filming some more of these games. What do you think? You want to come and join me? If you, you can learn a little here, more, you know, I'll, I'll, get I will you, try. I'll get you a couple of links, uh, Wikipedia links that you can yeah. learn about football. Get that football lingo to throw in there every so often. Outstanding. Well, folks, there you go. We have it. Our inaugural game has ended with the Hockey Middle School Hillers 22 and the Mountain Vineyard Regional School 6, the Mariners. So they're going to go shake hands. I'm Mike Tarosia with Alexis Tarosia. Thank you very much. Uh, her inaugural broadcast. Yes. And John Rich, his 13th, 14th, 8th, 800th season with <laughs> him on the camera. Thanks again, and folks, have a great day.